Hi there, here's a, a quick little teaser before I wrap it up for tonight. So what I've got here is a pretty straightforward scene. I've got a background uh, with the texture on it. I've got a directional light that's providing lighting to this background and then I have a simple script. So let me hit play and take a look at what's going on. So what we've got here is uh, basically two objects. Let me pause it and kind of zoom out so you can see a little bit better. So what this script does, it simply uh, adds a text mesh pro component to this object. The same script uh, creates another game object to which it also attaches another text mesh pro component. Um, the, we'll look at the first component. So this first text mesh pro component, uh, basically the script as a coroutine, it counts to a million, but it basically has a modulus to a hundred. So every time it gets to 99, then it wraps back to zero. Um, this text mesh pro object via script, we basically load the impact SDF font asset, set the font size, set the justification, anchor position, and via script, we also assign this impact SDF bevel to material which is, uh, if you look here, it's this material right here. And this material, uh, if I zoom in so we can look at it more closely, and again, you, as I zoom in, you get to appreciate the quality of the sign distance field font rendering uh, system that's with Text Mesh Pro and the quality of the shader. But anyway, so if we look at the material, uh, this is the texture for the face, which is right here. And then this is the brush metal for the border of the bevel here. Now, in terms of the bevel options, you can click on the advanced panel. Uh, let me scroll this uh, around a little bit. So you can see that we're using beveling, we're using an inner bevel, um, and we're using square edges. So it's flat here. We have like a specular highlight that's slightly orangey. And basically, we tweak the properties to get this look. But if I go here, you can see that I can change the bevel amount and all these things in real time. And every single one of these controls are available via scripting. But anyway, so that's sort of a little teaser. There's shadow, real quick, same thing. Uh, it's got the text mesh pro component attached to it. But this one loads the shadow material, which is sort of a preset. And this one's pretty simple. It's got a, the face is black. It's semi-transparent. And then the border itself um, has let me go back here. Border has softness attached to it, so we get the softness. The shadow object is slightly offset from the main object, and that's it. Um, so let me resume the play so you can take a look at it. And the coroutine um, updates at a quarter second interval. That way we get to see the numbers as opposed to seeing them you know, fly through the screen. So there you go. And as you can see, it's all live. Not sure how to moving the screen around in Camtasia looks like, but this is what it looks like. And you just saw it wrap at 99 right there. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Have a good night, good day, or good evening, wherever you are. Thanks for watching.